There's absolutely nothing wrong with an adult woman wearing cat ears, so I'm not going to talk about it. Hi babies! So, this is my second video on this channel. It originally wasn't supposed to be, I was going to do something else, but um, a package came for me in the mail. Can you hear it? Is that ASMR? Um, but a package came for me in the mail for something that I've been wanting to do for this channel since before I actually started it. Um, and so I thought I would go ahead and do this. I've been expecting this package in the mail all month and I'm very, very excited for it. So for those of you who have seen my other video on this channel, you know that I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what kind of channel this is going to be. I don't know if this is going to be an unboxing type of channel. I don't know if this is going to be the type of channel where I review things or talk about things or what. But we're going to start off with this because I'm very, very excited for it. And I haven't really seen, my god, if I could get this open, I haven't really seen a lot of videos of people unboxing these specifically. So I figured we would give it a go. What I'm unboxing today, can you see it? Oh god. Yep, there we go, because it's over lit witch casket. This is technically, even though it is January, this is the December 2017 box for Witch Casket. Um, they are far away from me where they actually ship it from, so I get it kind of late, so I didn't actually get it until January. Essentially what Witch Casket is, it is a brand that is run by, I believe, a mother-daughter duo who are practicing white witches, I think. And the things that they put in their box are usually stuff that is related to very spiritual stuff or witchcraft stuff. You know, stuff like herbs and necklaces and spells and crystals and stuff like that. And just very spiritually based stuff. And something you guys probably don't know about me is I am very interested in Wicca and paganism. And um, every single day I wear the same ring and necklace that have a pentacle on them. No, it is not a pentagram. Please educate yourselves for anyone who is about to call me a Satanist in the comments. But I am very, very excited about this. I don't have a lot of access to a lot of New Age stuff where I live. There's only like two New Age stores where I'm at. And they don't really have a lot of stuff there because they're family run. But um, yeah, so let's get into this. I'm extremely excited for this. I've been waiting on this forever. Maybe I should just keep my handy dandy knife out because I keep having to use it to cut things open. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So they have a little, like, oh my god, that's overlit beyond all words. Like, it looks like a little business card thing. And it says, thank you for supporting Witch Casket. We'd love if you could help us spread the word by sharing pictures of your caskets and goodies on your social media. You can hashtag Witch Casket so you can see them. Love and blessings, Deb and Ella. Thank you. Deb and Ella, I'm very excited for this. This one is a list of contents. I'm not going to read that so that I don't spoil it for myself. But this one says, December's casket sees us coming full circle. This is our second ever December casket. I had no idea how long they were around for. I actually found them through the Instagram of a girl that I follow whose uh, username I will leave on the screen somewhere. You should go check her out. Very, very aesthetically pleasing, very witchy, a lot of crystals and Ouija boards and stuff, and I really like that stuff. This casket is about leaving behind anything that no longer serves you and looking ahead. I really need that because to anyone who doesn't personally know me, 2017 was a really, really hard and painful year for me, and I just really need to just leave it all in the dirt and just go Ooh. Okay, see, I already am like, ooh. No, I really, I love like printed cards and stuff. I don't know why. I just like to kind of put them around. And I really love this art. It's really, really cute. It says past, present, and future. You're gonna have to forgive the glare for where my camera is at. But I really like this art style. It kind of reminds me of a girl I used to go to school with who kind of drew stuff like this. And I really like that a lot. 
It's a calendar. Okay, see, I always put off buying a calendar. I'll go to like a bookstore or something and see like 10 different calendars that I like and I never, ever, ever, ever actually buy them. And I'm really excited now that I don't have to. Which casket 2018 calendar? All the best stories have a witch in them. Just some days. Some days you just have to put on the hat and remind them who they're dealing with. Before you judge me, ride a mile on my broom. I need a shirt that says that. Deb and Ella, please. I'm not hexing anyone. I have resting witch face. If that's not my mother, I don't know what is. You say witch like it's a bad thing. The amount of times those words have come out of my mouth to people. The moon made me do it. Uh, usually that would say the, um, the tequila made me do it. There's a little magic in all of us. I really like that because I do say that a lot. I am a very firm believer in magic. And uh, no, not, not the kind that you would see like in Harry Potter, like with a wand and just poofy, but... Like, it's very, very different to me. Magic is very spiritually based and nature based, and I do very much believe it, and I think it's very beautiful, and I just think that it's very, very possible for anybody to have it in their lives as long as they believe in it and they want it there. Am I a good witch or a bad witch? Well, that depends on who you ask. I'm a bad witch, a very, very bad one. Magic is not something you do. Magic is something that you are. I believe that a lot, and I like that a lot. When witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, "'Tis near Halloween." I want a tattoo of that. Deb and Ella, okay? My new bays. all right? Deb and Ella. Can I get the rights to get that tattooed somewhere, please? Please? That's on October, too. That's the best. A spell a day keeps the bad vibes away. I dig it. I like it a lot. Walk barefoot, listen to the wind, drink in the moon, and be magic. I love that. Especially, like, the aesthetic of this. Like, if you look at the one for this month, the aesthetic is very dark and spooky, and I really like stuff like this. I kind of... I live for stuff. I live for stuff that's very black and spooky and witchy. It's been my aesthetic ever since I was a kid and I just, I really love this and I'm genuinely gonna use this every single day and I'm really, really glad that they sent this. Can we talk about packing peanuts real quick? A guy that I work with uh, told me that if I ever have any packing peanuts to bring them to him because he's planning on filling his best friend's bedroom with uh, packing peanuts all the way up to the ceiling. So I'm gonna bring these to him at work and um, he's gonna thank me for them. Fortune cookie, it bites back. What does that mean? A misfortune cookie. Wheat biscuit with a note inside. Remove the paper from the cookie before consumption. I would hope so. I hope people don't just eat fortune cookies with the fortune in them. So it's like a spooky fortune cookie. Look at this. It's it's like a spooky fortune cookie. I almost don't want to open it just because it's cute. I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna make you guys wait. I'm gonna be suspicious. Let's see, what is this? A vanilla scented travel candle. The outside is very cute. It's a very simple candle. I can never have enough candles though. It's karma sense. Um, I'm a big believer in karma by the way. Be nice. Um, and I love this. I love this a lot. Vanilla is actually my favorite scent ever, ever, ever. Every time that I leave the house, I actually put vanilla spray on and I can't leave the house without it. And so this makes me really, really happy because I can always use more vanilla candles and I love this a lot. Ooh, it's a loose leaf tea. Ooh. Look at this, guys. I never really make tea anymore. And I think this will be a good way kind of get me back into it because these are a monthly subscription and I get tea in there a lot of times I've heard from people that have gotten it and I think that could be really nice and if anything my mom likes tea too <laughs> oh little black candles 
It's a Breaking Bad Habit spell. Best performed during a waning moon. I will have to, um, one of these days, do an entire video about um, my collection of, like, witchcrafty things. I don't almost like to use the word witchcraft because I feel like it scares a lot of people into thinking it's something that it's not. But if any of you guys are interested in me doing, like, almost like a haul or a collection video of my books and my candles and my crystals and stuff, and just tell me in the comments and I'll do that. But it comes with uh, two cute little black candles in this little bag. Sorry, I'm looking at the uh, <laughs> thing to make sure it's in the right place. And then there's a Breaking Bad Habits spell, which I really need because I have a lot of really bad habits of like, I'm not particularly nice to myself and I tend to give chances to people that don't deserve them. And I really, really could use that. This is a mysterious little bag, you guys. I'm scared. It's just like a little black bag on both sides. That's kind of scary for me. What's in it? If it's plague powder like on NCIS, I swear. Wow. That sounded insincere, but it's not. I just can't breathe. I'm gonna try to hold this as best as physically possible. Look how pretty that is. I always love these like, uh, would you call it like a pendulum? I'm looking at a viewfinder. Would you call it a pendulum? I'm looking at a mirror behind the camera because for right now, before I can afford a camera, I am um, I'm filming on my iPhone. So I'm like looking at the mirror behind the camera like, hey. But I always like these. Would you call it like a like a like a pendulum almost kind of necklace? I like that a lot. I think that's really really cute, and I really like green. I've really been feeling green lately. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because it's cold out, and there's it's winter where I am right now, and there's not really a lot of green anywhere, um, and so I think everything around me is just kind of like very dull and dark, and not in the fun way. Um, so I think that I've really been feeling green lately, like, with the fact that there really isn't any around me. What is this? Ooh. Why do I keep doing that? Ooh. I kind of sound like made my heart. Oh, oh. Is that the noise? That's not the noise. I can't really do the noise. I'm sick and my grandmother's asleep on the other side of the door. Zebra agate. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I'm a shrew and a schmuck. Zebra agate is perfect for eliminating apathy. It is thought to bring a sense of optimism and give you more initiative to overcome life stresses. It encourages dreaming and helps to turn those dreams into reality. Zebra stone also helps you to find the good in people by helping you to see beneath the superficial surfaces and see their true self. I really like that, and I don't have any of these. This is going to be kind of hard to see, so I'm going to hold it like this. And then, if you look up close at it, I don't have any like this. Most of the stones that I have are, um, are amethyst. Um, because my mother has a lot of amethyst, and uh, we always kind of just swap stones out for some reason. And so I've got a lot of those. Oh, these are cute. I say these as if there's two, it's just like a sticker and then a thing. It's like a little pin, um, like it would go on your shirt, <clears throat> or on your bag or something. And it says witch casket, look how cute that is. I'm gonna put that on my purse. I think that's really adorable. I love stuff like this. I went through a phase where I would go to like, um, like Hot Topic and stuff, you know, where they sell like the little buttons like up by the register. And I would buy like a bunch of like fandom buttons to like put on my purse and stuff. And um, I think these are really cute and I really like that a lot. This alone is something to throw at people. Black coconut. This ancient wisdom. There's 18 sticks of black coconut incense. It's from, it looks like the brand is called Dragon Incense. I wonder if even though I'm sick, I can kind of smell it. A little bit, like down by the stick, because I don't know if you, I tickled my nose. 
I don't know if you can see it, but the actual like top part is uh, covered in aluminum foil. So like down by the stick, it kind of it smells like coconut, but like a really like extra like sweet, nice, almost like smoked coconut. If that makes sense. And I love incense. Okay, my incense burner is nowhere around me. It's across the room. Um, I burn incense daily right now. I've been kind of hooked on burning lavender a lot for the calming effect. And I really, really could always use new incense, and I love it a lot. I'm really, really looking forward to using that. Okay, there's this little button. It almost looks just like a decorative, like, button compacty thing. Um, it could be a magnet because there's, like, a black thing on the back. It says, live the present, dream the future. I really love this. And I really needed to see something like that because I think everybody goes through a time in their life where they really feel like they're in the wrong place and they just don't belong and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I've kind of felt like that for a really long time. And I feel like I catch myself dreaming a lot. Oh yeah, it's a magnet, it just stuck to the candle. <laughs> but I'm, I'm learning it's not really a bad thing. And I really like that because something that I want even one person who watches this to understand and I'm just gonna keep fixing my shirt while we talk about this, is dreaming is not a bad thing. There's always gonna be people in your life who try to convince you that dreaming is a bad thing, and it's not. All right, it looks like there's only a couple more things in here. This is a little tube of uh, paper. I'm gonna try hell hard not to rip this, so we're gonna use the knife again, guys. You like my nice rainbow knife? got a notification I saw it I wonder who it is I really don't want to rip this you guys I almost did I would have cried I'm trying to like slowly peel the sticker off it ripped a little but we're gonna ignore it why is stuff always falling? Okay, first of all, this is super cute. I'm loving the parchment. It says, dowsing pendulums. What is a pendulum? A pendulum is a symmetrical weighted object hung from a chain or cord. Oh, like the necklace earlier? The pendulum is a very simple tool, one that lets the user tap into their sixth sense and access the wisdom and knowledge within the pendulum. Some people say pendulum, other people say pendulum. I'm gonna keep switching back and forth to bother you guys. The pendulum brings together the rational and the intuitive sides of you. When these two sides are brought together, you're able to make better decisions. Pendulum can be used in a variety of ways. Most commonly, it is used to answer simple questions and aid in decision making. Though they can also be used for locating lost objects, and they are also often used by crystal healers. Do you guys remember that show Charmed? It started back in the 90s, and it's one of my favorite shows. I actually have all eight seasons on DVD, where they would like use like the scrying crystal. That kind of is what it makes me think of. And then it talks about how to use your pendulum and connecting with your pendulum. And I think that's really useful. I've never had one before. And I think it's really great, and I'm really excited about it. Okay, the last thing that I see in here, and I think it's really, really cool, you guys. It almost looks like a little, like a flag, almost. Um, but it's not. It's got, like, answers on it. It says maybe, yes, unknown, no, and it says everything twice. Like, I, kn I know there's a word for it, I can't remember the word, but hold on, I'll read it in the, the information, what was it, the, the contents list. Okay, it's just pendulum cloth, okay, that's what that is. So, it's the pendulum cloth, that way that you can like, almost like with the scrying crystal from Charms, you can take it over and go like that over it, and like you take it and you, hold on, I'll show you guys, because um, I used to do this, um, with a friend of mine when I was a kid, but we uh, we didn't have like an actual cloth. Like we made like a paper 
she was one of those friends that she really liked creepy stuff when we were kids to the point that she made like a fake Ouija board. She made like a fake Ouija board when we were kids because her parents were super, super Christian and they were not gonna let her go pretty much anywhere near a real Ouija board. She knew that I was kind of a creepy kid too, um, but that my mother was more uh, open-minded than her mother was. And so she knew that I kind of knew the basics of stuff that she was into. Okay, cool jelly beans, man, cool jelly beans. Yeah, so you would take it like that, like in, uh, in a show, and that's what you would do. So I thought that was a legitimate, like a special word for it, but apparently it is just called Apparently it's just called a pendulum cloth and it is a witch casket exclusive and I really really love this. Um, I kind of have been wanting something along these lines. Um, I was thinking like something like kind of big like this. I was either going to get um, one of these or I was going to get like a crystal grid. Um, I'm not like, one who's much for Ouija boards. They scare me a little bit. Um, but I really, I love this. It's very very cute, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, says and then it talks about the calendar it talks about which casket exclusive dowsing pendulum parchment scroll which was the paper casket exclusive a fridge magnet i knew it was a magnet yeah i i think it'll look really cute on my fridge um most of the magnets on my fridge are like the sassy quote ones they'll fit right in there is the witch casket pin which was this little guy right here and it says by Curiology. I'm gonna have to see if Curiology has like an Instagram or something. Um, the Breaking Bad Habits candle spell, which I'm really excited for. Um, and then yeah, there was the pendulum. Pendulum, pendulum. Tell me how you say it, guys, I'm serious. The Misfortune cookie, um, the black coconut incense sticks, the zebra agate crystal with info card. There is the art print by what did I say? I'm so good at English. Uh Novillinum Eyes. Novillinum Eyes. Okay, yeah. The art from the very, very beginning of the video, the first thing that I pulled out. This thing is by Novillium Eyes. I'm gonna look for that person also on Instagram. Um, and then there's a loose leaf tea and then the karma fragrance fragrance candle all spells and rituals are created by a practicing white witch exclusively for witch casket I really love that because I personally have a hard time finding stuff like that and I feel like there's only so many places you can check on the internet before you just find stuff that's bogus yep curiology and um, the person who uh, made the misfortune cookie have Instagrams um, and so does Novellium Eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna follow all of these people on Instagram. Proud to be vegan friendly, you guys. I'm not a vegan, but I really like when the products that I use, uh, like makeup or anything like that, is vegan friendly, and it says right there that it is vegan friendly. You guys, I really love all of this stuff. I think it's so handy and so cute. I know that there's not gonna be like a really huge audience for this but I really I really wanted to open this on camera and I think I'm gonna start I'm gonna start making it a thing that I do every month is to open these uh, because I really I love the stuff that I already found in here and I really thought that it was really good stuff and I really thought that they were all Clearly, they all clearly had a lot of thought put into them, and they're all very cute and aesthetically pleasing, and I just thought that everything really just deserved so much attention. Like, I can't, I can't express to you how cute all of this is to me. So yeah, I know there's probably not gonna be a huge 
I don't want to say market, but like, you know, a huge audience for stuff like this, like there would be for like Loot Crate and stuff. But I really like these, and I think that there are people out there who might like to see somebody open these, especially because it's not like the brand is super, super huge, and I think they should be. Like, you know, this stuff is really nice. Like, I would never be able to find other stuff like this anywhere else, and I really, really love that. I love when stuff is I love when stuff is genuine. I just keep putting away. And thank you so, so much again to Deb and Ella for sending this out and for starting this company. And I genuinely just think that it's just, it's really nice quality stuff. And what these ladies are trying to do, I think is just really nice. And they're trying to bring some magic and some hope into the world, especially since they were talking about that this specific box was supposed to be about leaving behind stuff that you don't really need anymore. And I feel like that kind of pertains to my life. And I feel like that kind of pertains to this channel in general because I started this channel because I want to start a new chapter in my life. And I want to bring you guys along for the ride, every single one of you. So I hope that you guys liked this video. I know that it was uh, kind of sporadic because I've never done an unboxing video before and I'm still kind of in the early stages of what I'm doing. But I think that's a good thing. And maybe you'll think it's a good thing. Hopefully by the time I post another video, I will have made specific social media for you guys who follow me. Uh, right now I just have this YouTube. But um, hopefully by the time I post another video, I will have started an uh, Instagram or a Twitter specifically for this. And hopefully by then you have learned to appreciate my little ears that I got at Michael's. So yeah, if you're feeling the love in the universe right now, you guys, hit subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys again next week for a new video. Bye.